I now have the great pleasure of introducing you to our next speaker, Governor Zhou Xiao Xuan. He is currently president of the China Society for Finance and Banking and vice chairman of the Baba Forum for Asia and China's rep chief representative of that group. He has served in a number of positions in the Chinese administration. From 1986 to 1991, he was a member of the State Commission for Restructuring the Economic System. He also served as Assistant Minister in the Ministry of Commerce. Amongst his many senior leadership, leadership roles in Chinese administration, he has served as Vice President of the Bank of China, President of the China Construction Bank, and Chair of the China Securities Regulatory Commission. From 2002 to 2018, he served as Governor of the People's Bank of China. He is a member of the Governor of the, of the Group of 30 and Chinese Economist 50 Forum. He was heralded for his remarkable success guiding the People's Bank of China, as well as macroeconomic reform in China. With his speech entitled Developing Carbon Market Framework and Improving Multilateral Governance for Cross-Border Carbon Emissions, it is my great honour to introduce to you, if an introduction is even necessary, to Governor Zhou. Over to you. Uh, thank you, uh, Mrs. Fong. Uh, it's my great pleasure to participate in uh, this uh, Green Swan uh, conference. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, going to use uh, my time uh, clips to talk uh, on uh, some of the domestic issues in China and also uh, the international issue regarding to the climate change and the carbon emission. Uh, I know this is a very important topic uh, and uh, uh, yeah, we need uh, to have a, a very good and uh, deep uh, discussion to have uh, a, a policy design and policy proposals. Uh, first, uh, let me uh, talk a little bit about the development and the internal discussion in China. China is uh, uh, is uh, uh, important uh, in the, in terms of uh, uh, cutting uh, it's, uh, the the carbon emission. Uh, yeah, people talk about the China uh, now takes uh, almost one third of the global carbon emission. So whether China could got a uh, right ways uh, to uh, fulfill. Uh, its own target uh, and uh, to contribute to, to global uh, it's, uh, the climate change target, I think it's, uh, it's very uh, important. Uh, the first, uh, uh, yeah, I, I would like to, uh, to say that uh, according to my observation, the domestic uh, discussion in China is about uh, whether we need to uh, mainly depend on the market boss or depend on the administrative measures uh, to cut the, uh, the, the carbon emission. Uh, yeah, most people uh, uh, say so that uh, uh, we need to fully utilize uh, uh, the market mechanism, especially all the market mechanisms uh, to provide a good enough incentive uh, for everybody to join uh, the effort to, to cut uh, the emission. Uh, but traditionally, uh, the central planner, uh, they may think that uh, yeah, they uh, arrange the total uh, roadmap and uh, decompose to the task uh, to uh, the different departments, the different uh, enterprises, and the different uh, locality uh, for them to fulfill. Uh, so uh, one of the discussion is that uh, if we would like to emphasize uh, uh, the market function, uh, we need to speed up uh, to set up uh, the, uh, a clear uh, roadmap to reach uh, the Chinese uh, uh, 2030 target and uh, 2060 target. Uh, our uh, president, uh, Mr. Xi Jinping, announced uh, that uh, the ambitious target uh, for China. Uh, that uh, I think before that uh, uh, we didn't have a, a 
good enough uh, uh, preparation for that. So in terms of the planning, in terms of uh, uh, the data uh, uh, collections and uh, the measurement and the verification. Uh, so uh, the first issue is uh, domestic issue is that uh, we need to speed up uh, for the related authority uh, to set up uh, uh, a clarity of a roadmap that's uh, how uh, we are going to reach uh, 2030's target and 2060's target. Uh, not uh, the only the total emission cap, uh, but also uh, in terms of major uh, sectors. Now, uh, Chinese authorities say that uh, they are working on the 24 uh, sector uh, roadmap. Uh, but uh, uh, yeah, we hope that uh, those uh, roadmap could come out uh, as soon as possible. So, uh, that uh, uh, the market could have a clear uh understanding that's uh, what we are going to do and uh, how uh, do we set uh, the, so the, the task uh, uh, for, for ourselves uh, one of the important issue is that uh, uh, the carbon market uh, price is uh, highly related rely on um, uh, the, this road roadmap especially uh, it's uh, the emission cap uh, in terms of uh, uh, carbon dioxide and in terms of uh, GHG. The second, uh, second uh, the, the issue in China is that the people uh, discuss warmly on uh, so whether uh, we need to use uh, the carbon markets to mainly adjust the supply demand relationship. Uh, for uh, the short terms, uh, for the temporary period, or uh, we may immediately use uh, the carbon market to, to guide and uh, incentivize uh, the investment for uh, the relatively long, longer terms. We say that uh, uh, also, uh, uh, that's the incentive for the short term uh, adjustment uh, in supply side and the demand side is uh, important. Uh, it's provided the signals. But however, because uh, the elasticity uh, of carbon emission uh, uh, in terms of production and in terms of uh, consumption, so uh, it's impossible to change a lot, uh, to cut a lot uh, in the short period. So we must depend very much on the investment side to uh, encourage uh, it's, uh, the new R&D, uh, the new equipment, uh, the new technologies, uh, and uh, to anticipate that uh, in the future, uh, we could have a, a much higher capacity uh, to cut uh, the emission. Uh, so uh, that's about designing the carbon market. Uh, 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 there may be uh, two groups. Uh, one is uh, suggesting uh, to mainly uh, function as a short-term uh, supply demand uh, adjustment uh, vehicle, but another emphasis very much on the investment side. So my personal uh, opinion is that so we must focus on, uh, on the investment side. The third issue is uh, uh, also uh, related to how to set up a Chinese carbon market. Uh, one opinion says that uh, we may have a marginal quota, uh, or we say incremental quotas to allocate uh, to those uh, uh, producers, they may have uh, uh, additional uh, carbon emission. Uh, and the gradually to expand the, the quota allocation. Uh, but in the beginning, uh, the uh, very large part uh, of the quota are uh, for free. That means uh, the zero uh, price uh, because of uh, this transition need. Uh, 
Another opinion says that uh, uh, we need to have uh, uh, yeah, that's, uh, the, uh, the, the quota to allocate to those of uh, negative quota creator. That means, uh, uh, yeah, they have a less uh, emission. Uh, all may have a carbon sink. Uh, because we are now working on uh, this 24 sector uh, 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 decomposition of, of the quarter uh, of the roadmap. So uh, each kind of activity which is lower uh, than the roadmap uh, should guard the negative quarter and they can serve the negative quarter. To the uh, to the uh, to those uh, have they have a, a positive quarters that they need to buy the quarter, so this kind of allocation uh, may be more e effective and uh, to have a more uh, uh, functional incentive uh, to the uh, to encourage those of, uh, uh, of uh, uh, carbon uh, cut uh, activities. The third one is, uh, is that uh, we need some of the intertemporary uh, instruments to manage uh, the risk. Uh, yeah, because we need a lot of investments uh, to encourage the new technology, uh, because of R&D have a risk. So, uh, we need uh, the carbon markets to have a more financial characteristic which can produce uh, uh, this, uh, the risk uh, management function. So this is uh, something uh, in discussion in China, I think uh, I, I may have uh, uh, your attention uh, to look at that. And I think international discussion uh, is also very helpful for uh, for China to get a uh, right track uh, in setting up its own uh, 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 common market. So there is a, a, a great uh, uh, risk that's, uh, 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 to, set, to establish a common market in the process uh, we may make some of mistake. Uh, and uh, for later on, we need to correct those of the mistake. It's uh, take uh, a lot of risk, uh, risk and uh, cost. Uh, finally, I, I would like uh, to touch a little bit on uh, some of the international issues, uh, which is also recently discussed uh, in China. Why is uh, CBAM uh, uh, the cross-border adjustment mechanism? Uh, the tax uh, adjustment. Uh, we say that uh, uh, people may have a different opinion. Uh, many uh, Chinese uh, uh, scholars worry about uh, trade protectionism, uh, worry about uh, uh, the trade walls uh, and the other uh, phenomena. Uh, mm, but uh, if uh, we decided to have uh, a sea bomb, uh, then we need also to consider that uh, for the long term, uh, the carbon uh, emission and climate change is very much uh, depend on the activity in developing country. And uh, the developing country already committed uh, to have a large amount of financial support to developing country to cut the emission. So uh, if we have uh, just uh, adjustment tax, uh, it's my opinion is to use adjustment tax income uh, to support uh, this, uh, the carbon cut in the developing country, in the export country. Uh, one uh, China is uh, to use this uh, money to set up a fund uh, to buy uh, the the carbon quota in developing countries uh, carbon market. Another is allow the developing countries uh, companies to sell their negative quota in the European or uh, the developing the countries uh, market, uh, which uh, I think uh, uh, it's uh, uh, maybe uh, yeah uh, can help uh, finally uh, to reach. Uh, the zero, net zero emission. Uh, 
uh, it's related that uh, 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 eventually uh, that uh, the, for each country their carbon market should be uh, connected to each other and to have uh, a much uh, similar uh, carbon pr price. Uh, but in the initial uh, uh, stage, we could consider that the practice uh, like uh, China uh, set up uh, uh, a stock market connection uh, between Shanghai and Hong Kong, between Shanghai and London, uh, between Shanghai and, uh, and uh, Deutschland. Uh, so this kind of market uh, connection uh, can be controllable. Uh, it's uh, also a kind of uh, channels that's uh, uh, to gradually reach uh, the same price uh, of the carbon and meanwhile to realize that there's some kind of uh, uh, financial support and the technology transfer uh, from uh, developing country to the developing country. Uh, and uh, uh, I have also another uh, issue to, uh, to, to be discussed in another occasion is that uh, uh, for showing the international uh, determination and the consensus uh, in terms of uh, uh, carbon emission, uh, we need also to have to find a, a reasonable solution for international uh, shipping and the international airlines uh, for their carbon emission. Uh, one solution is that uh, for the cross-border uh, transportation, uh, that uh, EU or the others uh, may levy the tax or the fees uh, for the carbon emission. Another uh, is uh, trying to set up uh, an international fund that's, uh, uh, which may reduce the frictions that's, uh, uh, that to contribute to the international fund and the fund the investment for the global activity of uh, carbon emission. Uh, so this is uh, also a kind of uh, multilateral uh, solution. So uh, I'm, uh, I uh, stop here. Uh, thank you very much uh, for your attention, and I hope to see uh, it's a very much uh, success of the uh, uh, Green Swan Conference. And uh, yeah, I would like to, to, to see if there is any uh, questions uh, for me to have a further discussion. Thank you. Great, thank you very much, Governor Joe. And we have we have a question that we're asking. I suppose a, a lot of our, our our guests is if you have to, to suggest just one thing to coordinate the fight against climate change, what would that be? Uh, uh, internationally, there are, are, are many issues, uh, but I think that. Uh, uh, China as uh, uh, one third of uh, carbon uh, emission uh, contributors. That's, uh, uh, I think, for, for China, for some of other uh, large uh, developing countries, uh, they need to set up uh, their uh, emission cap as soon as possible. And uh, based on, on, the, on the cap and uh, uh, yeah, they need to uh, to set up uh, the roadmap uh, as soon as possible. Uh, it's uh, show uh, the consensus, show the determination, and also uh, to uh, create uh, the real delivery uh, uh, in the uh, developing country to start. Uh, uh, strong, uh, ambitious uh, activities uh, for uh, dealing with climate change. Thank you. Great, thank you very much. Um, um, maybe uh, as was a final question, another question we have is about the the carbon border adjustment tax. Um, it's a controversial issue. Um, indeed, I think President Fabius mentioned it in, in his remarks earlier on. And um, the European Commission may soon put this on the legislative on its legis legislative um, agenda. How can other countries uh, prepare themselves for it? Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know very much uh, about the discussion everywhere. 
Uh, but I think that uh, uh, if I may uh, a little bit uh, elaborate uh, what kind of discussion in China. Uh, in China, that's uh, several years ago, one that's uh, the adjustment tax uh, idea uh, created, uh, this, you know, Chinese uh, negotiator uh, were quite, uh, uh, you know, that's uh, uh, resistant. <laughs> Uh, this kind of idea, uh, uh, partly because at that time and the trade protectionism uh, not, uh, was uh, developing. Uh, another is uh, that in the uh, global financial crisis period, uh, uh, many of uh, advanced uh, economy they have uh, yeah the problem of. Uh, Fiscal balance. Yeah, they need to spend money to bear out those uh, problem uh, financial institution. Uh, they they need uh, yeah, to rescue uh, their economy. So we saw that uh, the fiscal deficit, uh, uh, the public debt to GDP ratio uh, was uh, sorry. And then and it's, uh, people worry that uh, if you use uh, the cross-border uh, adjustment tax uh, incomes uh, to, yeah, uh, uh, to help for the budget, um, budget balance. Uh, also, uh, it's also, you need to, to have some things to do with uh, fiscal balance. But however, uh, in terms of uh, uh, climate change, we need to mobilize a very large amount of uh, funds uh, yeah, to uh, the investment for the technology uh, transformation, uh, for the new equipment, uh, yeah, for the new r and to reach uh, the net zero emission. Uh, so uh, I think the consensus is that uh, if uh, we have uh, uh, any kind of uh, carbon tax, domestic carbon tax, or the quota trading uh, income, or uh, the international adjustment tax, uh, that's our, uh, the incoming money should be used for the, uh, cutting the emission. Uh, so uh, in these terms, uh, it's, uh, I, uh, it's, uh, as I say, that it's, uh, we su suggest that it's all this money uh, uh, should uh, be used uh, for uh, this purpose, uh, especially in terms of uh, buying and, and uh, uh, the quarter emission, uh, and those, especially those of a negative quarter, and then and the money automatically flow to uh, those uh, of, uh, of uh, emission cutting activities under the new uh, R&D, the new equipment. Uh, uh, also, uh, it's, uh, uh, it may not uh, uh, very precise uh, uh, against the, the export country. Uh, but mainly, uh, we see this uh, for the global climate change. That's uh, uh, the, the, the fund flow uh, from importing country uh, to uh, uh, those of the developing country, especially those of labor intensive, energy intensive, emission intensive export. I think this kind of flow uh, is, a, is a correct way uh, to do. and. Uh, 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 even uh, we still need to have uh, some uh, of, uh, uh, technical policy designing to reach that. Uh, but anyway, if we say so, uh, it's a show the international consensus, international, uh, you know, the ambitious uh, to do a good job. Uh, so Great. this, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Um, that's given us a lot of food for thought. So we really appreciated um, uh, your thoughts and, and also your vision. And thank you for sharing that with us today, Governor Joe, and, and for joining us. Um, we really appreciate it.
So, so thank you, Joe, Governor Joe. We're now moving to, I suppose, that we'll move to the panels um, for um, our guests. The, the panel discussions will also be um, available later on YouTube. We have three panels coming up. Um, they'll focus on how can central banks mobilise and coordinate with other actors in the fight against climate change? How are investments adapting to integrate biodiversity loss risks? And how are the impacts of these investments measured? And then how can development banks address the massively increased financing needs for green projects and potential solutions? So to our moderators, Haiju, Irene and Sidar, over to you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you for all the participants also. We uh, cannot see it either, but anyway, I think that we are going to have a face-to-face -face in person discussion. Exactly. Uh, easy, easy. Exactly. Let's hope so soon. Thank you, Governor Joe. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.